My name is Margarita Coho, and I am T4, T5, para, incomplete para. As I was growing up, I had a very happy childhood, like playing with my little brother, horseback riding, and climbing a tree, and also went to different places. When I was 16 in high school, I was very active. I played basketball, and I was a cheerleader. I really enjoyed being with friends, and I consider myself a very outgoing. At the age of 16, I made a wrong decision in getting into a vehicle that was driven by a drunk driver who was my own sister. And I was ejected out of the vehicle, and I broke my back. I was uh, in a hospital in Albuquerque for three months. And after that, they referred me to the rehabilitation center at St. Joseph. And I was there for three months again. During that time, I had to relearn how to put on my clothes, my pants, and my daily routine, like taking a shower, taking a bath, and washing my hair. I had to learn how to transfer from in and out of bed. And it was very hard for me. But the therapist has to stress it to you that you have to do every day until you get to the point where they know that you're ready to go home. There was no running water, no electricity, and there was no ramp at my house. And it was really hard for me Late at night, I would just cry because that I used to have a, a nightmare about the accident. You know, uh, during these times, it wasn't an easy journey for me because I was very frustrated and depressed. And it took a lot of uh, psychological I had to take a lot of psychological help in order for me to overcome there was a lot of blaming and at the same time a lot of regrets of what I shouldn't or what I should have done in order for me to prevent myself from being in the wheelchair right now. And um, my, I really am thankful for my family being there for me. They're the one that was telling me that I can do it. And uh, after I really just at home, I uh, start going to church and um, get out from the house and start talking to young people. And there I express all the feelings and everything that I went through with them. And some of them, they understood. And I start traveling throughout um, some different uh, churches, talk to the young people about drunk driving and that it can be prevented. One person that I'm really blessed is my nine-year-old son. His name is Ryan, who, who's the one that really inspired me and making me, making me getting up in the morning and knowing that he needs me and I want to be there for him. And the other two, their name is Cabby and Hannah. They understand me, and I'm proud of them for every little help that they give me every day. I get very angry and frustrated is when I try to put my wheelchair in a vehicle or when I try to be at a certain appointment and that if I knowing that I'm going to be late and that's when I really get frustrated and, and, and angry and think that why me? Why does it have to be 
me that had to go through this, you know, uh, nobody got hurt except me.